I just got off a mastermind call with uh, a group of my coaching clients. We do it uh, once a month and I get uh, a select number of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. They get together once a month and we do what's known as the Platinum Mastermind Call. And it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of laughing going on, and uh, and a lot of excitement around building their businesses up, or the accounting firms up with the account success formula model. But one of the things that came up uh, in the call today that I wanted to share with you was this idea of getting no's. So in other words, getting no's from clients. If you don't get enough no's, you're not charging enough. More importantly qualified no's. You want qualified no's. So there's two parts to this that I kind of wanted to talk about. The first thing is you want enough no's from clients. So prospective client comes in, you have the conversation. In the accountant success formula model, we talk about the price ahead of time and it's all out of front. And then you want to have, you want to make sure that if you're getting a yes every time, your prices aren't high enough. Because think about this, if everybody says yes, you're leaving money on the table. So we're all constantly looking to have a right, the right percentage of no's in there. If the no's aren't high enough, then we want to push our pricing higher and higher and higher until we get a good, good no percentage. So you're actually looking forward to a no, which is strange, but you do want it because that way you are maximizing the price that you can. It's part, one of the ways you're ensuring that you're maximizing your price. But the other part of the no is a qualified no. And this is where a lot of uh, the discussion, we had a discussion around this, is that if you're getting a lot of clients that are not qualified, you're gonna have a ton of no's or you're not even gonna offer them to offer to work with them because they're not a qualified lead. And these qualified clients, where do they come from? They come from these referral sources. So they're you know, the other professional advisors or they're coming from your existing client base. And if you're getting a bunch of leads and prospective clients that you're talking to that are not qualified, then your no percentages are gonna go up and it's gonna skew the whole thing. You wanna make sure that they're qualified leads. So the key here is to ensure that you are, um, you're educating your referral network. Your referral network is one of the things that we work on in the Account Success Formula program. And so the referral network is those other professional advisors that are sending you qualified leads. They need to understand what you're doing, how you're doing it, and the model you're doing it in so that they're picking the right clients to send to you. So they're not just sending you a whole bunch of crap clients because there's nothing worse than getting a referral from another professional advisor, like a financial advisor or a banker or a lawyer, and it's a shit client. Let's be honest, like you get a shit client, you're like, oh man, what am I gonna do with this one? Um, you don't want to say no to them. I remember being in the past. I didn't want to say no to them because oh I got a referral So I should I have to take care of them. It's like this guilt feeling I need to take care of them But you actually want them to go away There's also another way that we do that in the account success form program I won't get into that But you actually get paid for the client not to become a client. That's a lot of fun, too You can get paid to have a client not become a client, but so when you are having these meetings with clients I want you to think about this Qualified no's. You want enough qualified no's. Not just enough no's so that you're you're maximizing your price, you're getting the no's go away, but look at the qualified the quality of leads that are coming into your practice too, because you want those qualified no's to be at that right level so that you're maximizing your prices and you are getting the right client mix in your accounting firm. So there you go. Um, again, mastermind call, fantastic, always fun. Boys get a little rambunctious at times. They know who they are, but that's fun. It's it's fantastic and a lot of good discussions around that. So anyways, I'm Eric Solbeck and wherever you're watching this, please scroll down, leave a comment for me and stay tuned for more success tips to come.